Hi, I'm Jonathan Knight, and this is B Movie Madness. The movie I'm going to watch tonight, well, I had the opportunity to check out a screener of a brand new shot on video horror movie that was directed by my good friend Madeline Deering, and that is the one, the only, sorry, Spirit Animal. So here's the disc I checked out. There was some personal info. Um, here's some promotional stuff. I dropped one of the skirt. I'll show it off. I'll show them up then. Now I'll be talking more about this card when it gets towards then. Um, what is Spirit Animal about? Well, Spirit Animal is this, the tale of a group of young, annoying twenty-somethings who decide to go out to the woods just to party, not knowing that there's a psychopathic killer out there who likes to dress up as different animals and act like them. And he gets his orders to kill from his master, a talking tree who says he must kill every single teenager because they are bad for the environment. And if they were to live, there probably wouldn't be a world to live in, in 10 years. And when they die, they become part of the earth. So, you know, doing good. Um, and that's, basic, that's basically it. And um, I didn't know much about the movie beforehand. I saw it mail and posting some stuff about it. And um, I decided not to look up the trailer or anything. I wanted to go into it blind. Um, Alan did say it would be right up my alley, and she wasn't bullshitting because this movie is fucking awesome. This is one of the more entertaining movies I saw this year. Considering all the bullshit going on in the world right now, this is the kind of movie I needed to watch. Um, like, you know, you've watched my channel before. I love shot on video horror movies. I just love it. I think most of my channel by now is probably mostly shot on video reviews, which I don't mind. Um, so I was really looking forward to it, and I like the fact that people are, are actually going out there and making new ones, because people who say VHS is dead, they're fucking lying to you, because this is proof right there, VHS is alive. Um, but the, the main things I liked about it, well, the first thing is I fucking love the killer. Um, he would dress up in different animal masks, and every time you put a mask on, he would act like the animal. Um, dog, he would bark, cow, he would moo. Um, monkey who would throw shit at people, which is always fun. Um, and he also did a whole bunch of puns. Like, every time he dressed up, he would say some kind of pun. Um, my favorite was, and I'm paraphrasing probably, you, if you, you need to go vegan or you'll be bleeding. I think it's slight, it, it's, it's, I think that's the line, but it was fucking hilarious. I actually re rewinded it three times and watched it. And he also sings the McDonald's thing, which is just funny. It's always fun. But the killer was great. You know, every time he was on screen, you know, talking to the tree and all that. And I want to mention this right now. The tree is voiced by the one, the only, Toby Radloff. Yes, the killer nerd himself voices the tree that instructs the killer to kill people. Um, the other thing I liked, the kills. Um, one of the best things usually when you watch a shot on video movie is they usually have a lot of gore in them. There's some that don't. There's a, quite a few that don't have gore in it. But most of them are really gory. You know, usually have some really awesome kills. And this movie has some of my f absolute favorite shot on video kills. There's dismemberments, decapitations. There's a fucking melt. A guy melts in this movie. That's just fucking cool. And if you're like me, I love a good melt. Um, but my favorite kill... By far is there's this guy who is um yeah they believe he throws a straw down in the forest and the killer dresses a shark um, jams a giant straw in his head. Now it isn't just a giant straw in the head. Madeline actually cuts to an inside shot of his head to his brain and the straw going in his brain and it cuts back and forth of blood spraying out of his head and blood spraying out of his brain and. She actually went the extra mile to do something extra for that kill. Instead of just having the thing in the head and blood spray out. She actually, you know, did something really cool with it. And all the kills are like that. They're, they're all super gory. Um, there isn't one bad kill in the bunch, in my opinion. I think, you know, the kills were some of the best kills I've seen in a shot of video in a long time. And there's been some really awesome kills I've seen in the past year. But there's some really cool kills here. The other thing I really liked is the musical score by Matt Cannon. Did I say it right? Matt Cannon. The score was awesome. I I love music and shot on video movies. It always sounds just so old school and it's just perfect. And the score here fits this movie perfectly. It is so well done. So to you, Matt Cannon, 
props. Um, I believe some of the bits of the score are online. I'm going to have to listen to it when I get done with the review. Um, but yeah, great killer. Awesome gory kills. Amazing score. Um, the acting is the kind of acting you expect in a shot on video movie. It's fun bad. Um, it's the best way to describe it. But everyone gives it their... Um, Gives it their all. I think Jennifer Louise, who plays the final girl, she was really good, especially, you know, towards the end of the movie when she had to, you know, face the killer. Um, Madeline Deering actually plays a role in this movie. She's one of the victims. And I believe she plays the killer in some shots. I, I read that in the credits. But she plays one of the victims and probably has one of the better kills in the movie. It involves a stick in the butt. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, but yeah, I thought everybody gave it their all. Yeah, they get. The acting was fun, bad. Now, about this promotional card. Now, on this side, this is a drinking game. Um, you know, you take a drink when um, you see a shark and take a drink when you see Brutus. I did not partake in the drinking game simply because I don't drink that much anymore. And because I'm reviewing the movie, um, I didn't want to, you know, it, the review be compromised. But I will partake in the future. Trust me that. As for this other side, now this is the cool part. This is really cool and shows that Madeline was trying to have some fun with this project and give people something fun to do with it. The movie's presented in smell vision Every time you see one of the numbers on the screen, um, you scratch the thing and it's a smell. And I don't want to spoil all the smells. That way if you get to watch the movie for yourself, you can experience it. But um, some of the stuff, there's six of them, some of it smelt like what it was supposed to. Some of them, not as much as Eller's. But what surprised me is um, I have bad allergies, so it's hard for me to, you know, smell sometimes. So I wasn't even sure if I was going to do the smell of vision you know, until my second viewing. But I scratched the stuff, and it was so strong that it cut right through my allergies, and I was able to have some fun with it. So that was great. Um, and it really did add to the fun. The movie is fun without it. But this is a fun little cool gimmick and shows that she was actually going the extra mile with this movie and just wanting to have some fun because, man, I miss stuff like this. You know, I'm not a biggest 3D fan, but I love gimmicks like this. Um, I'm a huge William Castle fan, and he was like the king of gimmicks. I wish I was alive when those his movies came out because I would love to watch the Tingler in theaters and get shocked. So I really like it. This is really reminds me of the good old days when filmmakers actually, you know, really gave a crap. Um, but this was, yeah, this is awesome. I mean, I'm going to keep this. This is one of my favorite things. I'm going to keep it in my collection. So I always remember this. Um, I'm looking at my notes. Um, now, and the other thing I liked, the end credits. Um, they had little in-jokes and all that, little quotes and everything. It reminded me of the end credits for Jack Frost. The Killer Snowman movie. Not the creepy Michael Keaton one. Um, I love end credits that are fun, like Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Toxic Avenger 2 and 3. I mean, they make, you know, cause the credits could be something boring, especially when you're a kid. So as a kid, I really appreciated that they actually put these little jokes in there. And the credits remind me of that. I remember running Jack, Jack Frost and enjoying that. And Madeline did the same thing. I think that's really cool. Now, as we're, you can pick up this movie. As of right now, it is not available. Um, I don't know what I can say and what I can't say, but um, Madeline is working on some kind of release for it. And um, I will put the Facebook link to the movie below um, where you'll find all the information and you can talk to her and ask her, um, you know, when things are going to be available. But she is working on a release for it. Um, and if you're a fan of my channel and you're a fan of shot on video horror movies, I highly, highly recommend This movie was a blast to watch. I have had fun probably since last time I had fun was... Uh, the Warlock stuff I reviewed a month or two back. That stuff was a lot of fun, too. And this movie just added to it. Um, this is what... Those Warlock stuff... And this is what makes me happy that I continue this channel. Because at one point, I was just going to give the channel up. But people like my friend Michael Church, Tony Marcello, Madeline Deering... You make me want to continue. And Matt Brown, he makes me want to continue. He has an awesome channel as well. Um... But stuff like this makes me want to just keep reviewing movies because I love passionate, creative filmmakers like Madeline Deering. This world needs more filmmakers like that. They need less $100, $200 million movies and more, I don't know what the budget for this is, more movies like this where they give you little fun things to do. Some gory kills, an awesome killer, lots of laughs. What more could you ask for? So, um... 
So thank you for watching. If you like my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, and I got two questions to ask you. Um, one, what's your favorite shot on video movie? If you don't know what shot on video, if you don't have one, don't mention it, don't worry. But what is your spirit animal? Oddly enough, mine's an otter. Isn't that funny? But um, yeah. Um, I'm Jonathan Knight. It's been B Movie Madness. Thanks for watching.